If you've ever visited a website and watched objects grow, move, and shrink with the window size, then you know what auto sizing is. But let me demonstrate it with the apple.com website, which is a good, you can really do it with a lot of different websites, but this is a good example. So here we have the screen or the window at the full size. I'm going to come down here and drag it and make it smaller. And you notice that at some point, right about there, that's the minimum size and it starts getting bigger. But at some point, the minimum size is reached and just starts cutting things off. But otherwise, some things move down, like these buttons at the bottom, and other things grow. And that's really exactly how it works in FileMaker. So the best way to demonstrate this is to zoom out. It won't look very good, but let me show you what happens. So we'll go in here and go to our view and zoom out. It gets smaller. And you notice that nothing happens. It never resizes. It never fills up the whole screen. Let's go ahead and make a few changes. First, I'm going to view, uh, zoom back in. Go to layout mode. We're going to decide where things should go. And before I do that, I'm actually going to go ahead and draw a tab control because this will really fill up the space down here. You're going to have a lot of stuff that we're going to put on this contact manager. So having a tab control, and I'll just label them tab 1, tab 2, and tab 3 for right now. Having these tab control in here allows us to put a lot of extra stuff inside these tabs other than the first name last name and we're gonna have all kinds of information you know linked contacts uh, related contacts notes and things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and move it over there so it lines up with that look at the spacing here I think we can move it up a little bit like that that looks pretty good move it down a little bit and I'll again as usual tweak it a little bit and then resize it over here till it gets just to where I want it there we go. Now again, we're going to go back into browse mode. We're going to go to zoom in and realize that if you use FileMaker 16 or FileMaker 15 before, the zoom controls are down here in the lower left hand corner along with some other controls. They're not there anymore. It makes a nice clean window, but you have to remember that you can go down here and zoom in and out. Um, there's also keyboard commands so you can use those. So you can see now again still it doesn't get any bigger. So let's go ahead and zoom in and let's actually set this tab control to grow. We're going to go over here to the inspector and right in here under this first choice here the position you have the ability with the selected object to anchor it wherever you want. So I'm going to anchor it to every point. Let's go into browse mode here. We're going to zoom out. Oops, sorry, the other way around. Zoom in. Actually, I almost fooled myself. I did I did do it correctly. Now what we've got here is because uh, <laughs> it, it's zoomed because you can see how this grew. So you can see better if I go ahead and actually resize it. See, and now let me get the corner here. There we go. See, at some point I reached the minimum size, right? But then with it zoomed out, now it's growing and filling up the entire screen for me. So that's pretty cool stuff. Now I'll go back to normal size here. There we go, zoom in. And you can see this is the normal size, and I can't really demonstrate the zooming very well here. But let's go ahead and try something here. I'm going to go into layout mode again, make a new layout, and we'll just call it test for right now. I'll delete it at some point. And what I'm going to do is put two rectangles on here. This is a good way to fill around with the functionality. I'm going to duplicate that one and put it right down there. So what we're going to do first off is notice that the way it is right now, these just stay where they're at no matter what, even if you get real small. But if we go into layout mode and we'll make this one, we'll just scooch them over here a little bit, and we'll make this one get bigger, right? Watch what happens here when we make it bigger. See how it gets bigger? It goes down to the regular size, the minimum, but then eventually we'll go ahead and, in this case, go behind it. Now, if I brought it to front, I said arrange, bring to front, you're going to see what's going to happen. It's actually going to cover it up. And you may not want that. So a lot of times you, when you grow an object, or almost every time, really, you have to tell other objects to get out of the way. So I'm going to tell this one to stay in the lower left-hand corner. Let's go into browse mode. 
And now you can see as I resize this, that one can grow, but the other one just stays the same size and moves out of its way so that I don't get any overlapping objects. So I would highly recommend setting up a layout like this with you know some sample objects and just testing out and see how it works so you get really familiar with it. So again, I'm going to delete this layout, just practice. And now what we're going to do is set up the rest of the things to go ahead and resize properly. Now, this is kind of an interesting one. If you notice when we're back in browse mode, and we go ahead and zoom in or zoom out, I gotta get these right, that these buttons don't move anywhere. They kind of stay in the upper left hand corner. Well, you can actually do something pretty cool with these. We can select them and tell them to be anchored at the top but not the left or the right and see what happens here. See that now they kind of float in the middle, stay in the middle like that. And you may choose to do it differently. I just kind of like that whole effect of it doing that. So that it stays kind of in the middle of the top and it's not scrunched to one side or the other if somebody has a really large screen and they've made it enlarged it to the size that they want. In fact, I can come over here and decide, well, maybe I want these to be over on the right side. And you can see how they now go over and see over the right side. So it could make these ones grow. And so I can say, okay, well, I want these ones to grow. We'll go ahead and make those ones to get bigger. Now this one will grow, but these ones will keep over on the right side. Got to be careful. You want overlapping objects. And now you can see what happens as I grow it. Everything will get bigger and these ones will stay out of its way. So there's a lot of stuff you can do here. And I'm just noticing that I forgot to do the homework here. That doesn't mean that you're off the hook. Uh, I'm going to go ahead in the next video, going to scrunch these up into one nice little block here like this over here. So we'll zoom back in, get back to the normal size, and then we'll be off to the races. Hopefully uh, with a little bit of practice, you'll get that auto sizing just right. And we'll bring it in uh, every once in a while, you know, and, and show you some tips about how auto, auto sizing works, especially with portals, because there's some different variations there.